Oh shit, it's actually getting pretty nice outside. The gods are smiling upon us. Probably not the best thing to say while I'm in Jerusalem. <laughs> It's 22.20. I think this says the bus comes at 22.30. Ended up having to take a cab, which was like $25. Because I think the last bus out of the airport to the city, Petatiqua. It's like some random city where my couch surfing host lives. I think I got here too late to catch the last bus. And now I'm in his apartment complex. It's 9 a.m. I'm in Israel. Pretty jet lagged. I'm outside for a walk, but it's kind of rainy. Yeah, I'm in some random city. I have to figure out how to get to Jerusalem today. It's kind of confusing, to be honest. A quiet street in Petatikwa. I kid you not, this is the first food place I've seen while I'm here. America, baby. An Israeli orange. There's these crazy recycling boxes. I'm walking to the Ganim Junction to head to Jerusalem, the holy city. Crashed one night with my couch surfing host. Can't tell how tired I am right now. Day TBD. Damn, this book is hella fake, no words. Cars and shit. The only language that the whole world understands. And Chris Brown. There's some high five. This is the Jerusalem Central bus station. It's like a mall. I'm trying to get to the Jerusalem Old City where a tourist scum like me belong. Pretty modern looking. I'm gonna run two miles to the Old City. It's actually kind of cold. Maybe 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I figure I can save some money and it's only like two miles to the Old City. That was like a $10 pita. I guess I saw this place on TripAdvisor. I didn't really think about the price. I'm trying to be less cheap about food and also healthier. Oh, there's a market of sorts. Hello, people. I've arrived. The legit thing. I have no idea where I am right now. These avocados are f***ing giant. All right, I started to see some tourists in that market. Those dirty English speakers. I haven't showered for a bit, maybe like a day and a half. It's fine, you know, I haven't been running, so I haven't been sweating. It's kind of surreal to be in Petatikwa because I felt like I'd been transplanted into the Israeli suburbs. Starting to be a lot more English on the signs. I made it, made it to America. I'm trying not to judge this before I try it. Great name. Oh, there's a hostel. One hard thing about couch surfing is if you're really jet lagged like I am right now, you basically don't have a place to go during the day if your host is out at work or something. The two places you can crash are hostel lobbies or public libraries. I'm actually not that tired currently though. What is this? Alright, here's the famed west wall of Jerusalem. No idea why it's famed, it's probably pretty old. This is the entrance to the old city churches. Is this like a religious city or something? I bet this place is crowded in the summer, but not today. More emptiness. I'm entering the so-called Christian Quarter. Martin Luther Development Center. It's cool they celebrate the civil rights activists in Israel as well. We'll have what is regarded as Lesbos only church for the vast majority of the I guess this church is important. Never mind, this is the real western wall where a lot of people pray. Apparently it's for women only. I just kind of walked up there and they're like, hey, this is for women only. Like, oh, my bad. I'm starting to get jet lagged. These are the Muslim quarters. I think this is the border with East Jerusalem. So Jerusalem is divided into a bunch of parts. And basically East Jerusalem is the Arab slash Palestinian part. West Jerusalem is like the Jewish Actually, I don't really know. Anyway, it's a divide between Jewish Christians and Muslims. And the eastern part is the Muslim part. There's a cat looking in the trash. I'm in Zedekiah's cave. Also known as King Solomon's quarries. There's not as many reviews for this place on TripAdvisor, but it still seems pretty interesting. Literally the only person in this game right now. It's actually amazingly quiet in here. Stop. Squatting in this hostel. I don't even go here. 